Alright guys, hello. My name's Gordo. I'm gonna show you a little uh little way to tweak with your custom settings and um, get the best FPS. I'm running a HP Pavilion 500 series, a very low quality AMD, and a lot of people, every time I play with my buddies, are like, oh my god, AMD, how are you even playing this game? But I'm a pretty average Joe, like I have a very, very basic desktop uh, tower. I'm not going out and spending a thousand plus dollars on a tower just to play the game. I, I play the game, it runs okay, it's not perfect. As you can tell, the quality of the video is kind of low right now because I am tweaking um, my video recorder. So I'm going to try and show you guys how to tweak this. So one thing you can do is hit your back colon uh, right next to one. And you're going to see the cursor pop up in the bottom. And then you're going to type in stat. And as you can see there, it's stat FPS, stat unit. That will show like your draws and everything. But we're just going to use the FPS for now. We're going to hit enter. In the top right hand corner you can see right there I'm getting 55 frames per second. If I look completely up, I'm getting about 86. Looking down, I'm getting about 76. Okay, so this is where I come in and I practice everything. So usually when you first start playing the game, when you open it up, you'll see it's very pixelated with the optics. And we're just gonna like change our resolution for all that. So what you do is hit escape and then you're going to go to settings then we're going to go to graphics and this is where you're going to um, mess with everything if you have a really good card you guys probably are not going to have this issue at all but I have a very very uh, low quality card but I, I spent a lot, a lot of time on the firing range trying to get the best settings with my FPS and this is what works with me and I have a very low um, quality graphics card so screw around with the resolution a little bit I'm using a 22 inch monitor and I don't really see how this affected the graphics at all I actually when it was um, windowed when it was actually just its own little thing and I could see a little bit of the desktop in the background I actually found it played a lot worse so I just leave it at full screen B-Sync I have no idea what it does I turned it off it seems to perform a little bit better. Your gamma, you can screw with this to get the best quality. Um, right here is your overall graphics quality. So if you have a really good graphics card, click Epic and you'll have a great time. But I do not. So what I did is I automatically hit low and then screwed around with my resolution here. So that's what I was talking about the pixelated with the optic in the background. If you increase the resolution to it should be a hundred or close to a hundred it should work if I hit that and then escape well, it's actually working quite well for me now but it's probably because my settings but it let's say I just put the resolution all the way up see how my frame rates drop now I'm at 25 and there's no one on the game there's no one running around there's not explosions going on I'm at 25 frames so as soon as um, shit hits the fan like if I were to throw this grenade it should drop quite a bit yeah it dropped it dropped about eight frames per second that's just one grenade and I'm alone on this thing and as I'm looking around here my frame rates pretty pretty low so we're gonna go back into escape so this is where you test and adjust all that kind of stuff by doing what I just did there so I'm gonna lower back down I believe I had it at 81 apply settings and look I'm back up in the 60s that's good so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop actually this a little bit more and I'm gonna double check that I'm not all completely pixelated see how my reticle is kinda like shit in the bed it's like disappearing and everything we don't want that so I'm gonna go back to my resolution scale and put it back up to 80 let's leave it at 84 okay and lasting, turn it off. Uh, view distance, uh, if you do low, um, it, it's a lot harder to see enemy at a far, far distance. And the shrubbery will actually look like humans. And sometimes I'll call out contacts. And the guy's like, y you're a freaking idiot. And like, there's nothing there. So set that to medium. Shadows, 
uh, turn it completely off because it'll really screw with your FPS. Uh, resolution won't matter after you turn it off. Just leave it off. Ambient oscillation off. I don't even know what it freaking does. None. Uh, ratio scale. Um, as long as it, if you have that off, this doesn't matter at all, so it doesn't matter. Uh, pulse processing, low, bloom, off, 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 off. And set this to your graphics card because you want the best performance. So if I have all low settings and I were to set this at one gigabyte, my video card's only going to be working at half strength. But I have a two gigabyte, so I have it set for two gigabyte. And then effects is low. That, that'll be like... Um, like your smoke and everything. Okay, so I'm gonna play with my settings a little bit. I'm gonna throw smoke. And I'm gonna show you. This is one really big issue: is frame rate will really start to drop in uh, in smoke once it fills up here. Let's give it a second. All right, so look at that. My frame rate has dropped incredibly low, and I'm in the smoke right now. I'm at 25. As soon as I come back out of the smoke, I'm back up in 60. I I believe Squad is trying to fix that issue with the, the FPF, um, but that's just something to always consider when you're when you're fighting. Uh, smoke is going to drop your frame rate a lot. Alright guys, um, this is Gordo here. Uh, if this helps you at all, uh, hit a like, hit a subscribe. I'm starting a YouTube channel here and Every little bit will be appreciated. Alright, thanks guys.